Yo, what is up guys? Trevor Ross Kavinsky here in today's video. We are going to be going over the Supreme by any means dunk highs. Yes, right here. We did manage to get these manually. So you know you do not need bots. I get this a lot. You do not need bots to hit on Supreme. Thankfully, we grabbed these on the test stop version and autofill came in clutch and did everything I needed it to do, right? So I'm super, super happy about that. So we're going to do a full review for you guys. I know a lot of you guys did want to see these pairs in hand. You said put them on feet, but these aren't for me. These are a size 10. Now this is the black and white version. But before we get too far into it, hit that like button subscribe to the channel the support has been freaking insane and as always one random comment you must like and comment down below one random of your comments are gonna get a $15 cash app from me uh, in 24 hours so just just for showing love I appreciate you guys so I'm trying to get back as much as I can with the $15 cash app so I hope you do good luck on doing that please comment please like thank you all for being here let's go ahead and jump into the sneaker and kind of look through it so starting off here's the box we have the Nike SP box unfortunately they did send the box a little beat up not bad I get people ask me this question all the time will this pass verification will this pass verification yeah it's fine unless there's a hole in it unless it's like completely smushed it's fine but like i said this is a size 10 it's very reflective and then you open it up nothing too crazy oh oh there the shoe is uh before i start talking too much let me go ahead and grab both these shoes out and i'm going to show you all the accessories that it came with so here are both shoes let me tell you something the details on here are very very cool you know i hit them online i was like yeah i was super hype you probably saw me react like crazy if you're on my live streams if you didn't know i do live cop every single one of these shoes on my youtube channel but i was so excited when i hit these and i went wild for them but then again i didn't think the quality was going to be where it was at i mean the quality once again it's a dunk high it's got the dunk quality but still there's some cool things going on around the shoe uh before i do actually talk about the shoe let's talk about everything that it actually came with because they actually did send me a lot of stuff in there we got the candy candy smarty necklaces so if you did hit on these you're gonna get a candy smarty necklace so i'm pretty happy about this i'm not gonna eat that you know and then we also got some pretty cool freaking stickers of course we got the box logos uh the supreme stickers and then we got the knowledge is supreme cool little sticker here with a little baby on there which is funny and then we got another supreme sticker so we got like four stickers in total and a cool little like accessory so this is what was sent with my package and i was pretty hyped about that i can't lie um and uh there's another thing that actually came on the shoe but unfortunately it was off of this pair um it's the little it's this little guy that says supreme new york uh this just was off the world famous supreme usually it is uh hooked onto the shoe but mine came off which is fine not a big deal it's not like you're gonna leave this on the shoe it's just a cool little accessory that you have that comes with this sneaker all right enough about enough about what comes in the box let's look at the sneaker itself okay so starting off i love this colorway of course the black white and the little no love like low-key this is kind of clean. I feel like if I was to actually wear this pair, it'd feel like a a very, I don't know, a very special shoe. Something that was, you know, hard to get, hard to attain, which is always good. If you have a pair that was not easy to get, it makes you kind of feel, I don't know, kind of makes you feel like you got some power when you're wearing this shoe. Not really, not really make you feel like you have power, but you know what I mean. If you've ever had a pair, if you've ever hit a pair that are hard to get and you wear them, it's just like, oh my gosh, this is clean. So starting at the back, we're going to go ahead and start at the back. It says, by any means, on the back of your heel. Um, and there's a Nike swoosh in there, and there's a New York. It says New York within there too, and it's all stitching so it's like embroidered i said stitching but it's like an embroider all the way around so the quality is literally on freaking point that's what i'm very very happy about with this shoe is the fact that it is embroidered so these will not wear off there's no way you're gonna wear them off the only way you're wearing those suckers off is you completely destroy the shoe um but even then it's gonna be very hard to get out there and then under here right here on your heel it says supreme team which is super super cool going to the tongue tag it says supreme with the not so, I said Supreme. -y. It says Supreme with the Nike logo right through it, or the Nike swoosh. And then on the inside, um, it does come with extra laces. It comes with both black and white laces, of course. And on the inside, it, it says Nike SB. Um, it's hard to see, but also Supreme, as you can see in there. Going to the side of the shoe, it does have this leather that now it is going to crease. It's it's dunk leather. This leather reminds me of, it's kind of like, it's not the best leather. I was hoping they'd use something else. The leather that they use on the back of your heel tab is much, much better. You you can just tell um and you can tell by feel as well there's a lot of padding in here around your heel tab if you've ever wore a nike dunk high and this is a sb so of course there's going to be more padding for you because they're intended to be skateboarded on um these are more comfortable than jordan ones any day my pure platinum dunk highs are more comfortable than jordan ones by or any day like in my opinion they're more comfortable than jordan ones and uh that's just me let me know down below if you think these are better than jordan ones when it comes to comfortability wise now i'm not saying the looks the looks are a little bit different you know it's a whole different shoe but i'm just talking in in the the case of a high um 
these are more comfortable. Moving on, we have the Nike swoosh. The Nike swoosh leather is actually not bad at all. You can see as you come in here, it's a little bit different than the black leather on there. You can see both sides of the shoe there. And then up here by the toe tag, this is my favorite part of the shoe, the no heart, the no love, which is super, super cool, which is once again, this is embroidered. This is embroidered again, and, and it's very cool because it's gonna hold up so well. All the way with the white toe box. Now these are gonna crease. Thankfully, the toe itself is actually black, so when it does crease, it's not gonna be as bad. And then there's nothing really on the inside of your shoe, just nice and plain. And on the bottom, of course, is just a Nike Dunk bottom there. Um, this shoe is no different. They didn't do anything different on the shoes. They're identical. Not even the tongue tag is different. You know, like I said, when we see some of these shoes, um, the, the tongue, or there's something different about them. Uh, not the tongue tag, but there's usually something different about the sneakers somewhere around there. But when it comes to this pair, they are both identical. But let me know what you think of this sneaker, guys. I honestly... I, I don't think I've ever given a, given a rating this high, but I'm going to do this a 9.5 out of 10. You can wear this with anything. You literally, it's just a super solid sneaker, and quality control is on point. Let's go ahead and go around each of the sneakers for you guys, because you know quality control has been a point. There's a, there's a little something there, but you can probably pull that off. Quality control has been a problem for Nike recently. Now, I get it. It's a Supreme collab, so that does help greatly, but... Quality control seems to be on point right here. As you can see, you can just see the quality right there in the Supreme team. That's That was the right shoe. Let's go ahead and do another quality control check on your left shoe. As you can see, just on point. I don't really have glue stains. Um, nothing too wild, like I said. Look at how cool that looks. So, so nice. So nice. Oh, there's a little something there. What is that? Oh, it's just a little piece of flint. Piece of, piece of lint on there. Other than that, man, the quality is where it needs to be. We're not having glue stains. They didn't come all folded up. They didn't come creased. They didn't come the Nike symbol going all crazy. Because you guys know, quality control just hasn't been on for a lot of Nike products. Thankfully, when they did the Supreme collab, it seems to be on point. And honestly, this is a super wearable shoe. Now, let me know down in the comment section, which pair did you get? I think we got the black and white pair. Once again, manual. I just ran all manual. I ran my phone. And I ran um, desktop. I recommend you guys do that for every single drop run your phone run your desktop it's going to increase your chances now it's hard to multitask but if you really focus up i know you guys can do it i know for a fact that you guys can focus up and make it happen i'll help you as well during the live cops and of course within kick notify which is right there we will help you and show you what to do uh we always help everybody with every single drop we have the the uh burberry drop tomorrow which is going to be nuts we're going to be ready for that without a doubt but for this sneaker, definitely, if you did get a pair, congratulations. I know a lot of you guys said you're towing them. I'll probably be flipping them. I don't know. They look really freaking good on my shelf back there. When I throw them on the shelf back there, it just adds a little, a little flavor. A little flavor to the to the shelf. Because we got, you know, we got basic GRs back there. Those are all GRs behind me. And then when you see this, man, it really does stick out on the shelf. And I love it. I think it's simply because the colorway. With this colorway, I can just wear with everything. I'm always wearing black. I mean, heck, I'm running a black Young LA shirt and black cargos right now. So I think that's why I really like the shoe. And it will go with any of your outfits. You want to wear a purple shirt, this goes. You want to wear like a pink shirt, it goes. A green, whatever. I mean, we do have a little bit of red on the shoe, but it's so easy to just make that go with anything. And I think that's why my standard and my rating for the shoe is so high. Now, a lot of people ask me about the market on this shoe, and they're still holding pretty okay. All pairs are starting to come in. They did go down. Um, and a size 10 and a half or size 10 which is what I hit uh, they're down to 340 I expected that I think the Brazil Brazil ones are holding the best and the red and blue ones are definitely down we knew they were gonna take a dip so um, if you are selling sell quick if you got them in make that sell very quickly your locals will eat these up even StockX you can make money I don't use StockX I recommend you guys make or use Facebook to make your local connects you know you know what we do there I'm always recommended Facebook if you don't want to use Facebook StockX you can still make a great great sale these weren't too expensive to get to your hands I think mine was like 140 after shipping and tax uh, somewhere around there the 140 range I think the 128 was the retail so this is a massive flip 150 200 profit on this shoe so congratulations if you cooked up uh, I know I saw a lot of you guys eat and it was super exciting the server did amazing it always makes me so happy to see so many people hitting on sneakers so guys that's my predictions if you do want to sell them sell them now while you can while they're high because some people's shoes haven't came in yet if not this isn't a bad one to hold on to 
Nike. You know me, I'm against holding sneakers for the long time and a long period, but this is one of those shoes that may end up going back up in value once people get them in hand and really do like them. I'm not saying quality is freaking insane. I didn't say that, but they are really, really cool. I'm, uh, there's a few things on the shoe that just really stick out to me, and you know, I definitely recommend it to anybody if they do want to grab their first Dunk High. That's not too out of reach, and it feels like a very, a very special drop, a limited drop. It definitely feels limited. So if you do want to get your first limited SB Dunk High, this would not be a bad one to start with, okay? So guys, that is it for me. I gotta say once again, thank you all for subscribing to the channel. If you have any questions to me, for me, uh, my Instagram is right here. Kick Notify is right there. We'll get you taken care of. We'll help you with every single drop, shock drops, uh, restock information, one-on-one -on -one support, anything you need. Kick Notify has got you. And just, just once again, thank you guys for being here. One random like, one random comment will get a $15 cash out from me. And that's it. I am clocking out of here. I'll see you on the next one. I'm out. Peace.